been in the news uh, for yes. quite a while, actually, certainly since the Eastleigh by-election, hasn't it? Uh, this is in the Daily Mail. Immigrants could be forced to pay a cash bond to enter Britain. Well, there's two stories here together. Uh, one of them is the, uh, the cash bond. Uh, this is uh, another Theresa May story. Um, she's saying that they will be required to pay an entry fee as part of a guarantee that they won't be a burden on taxpayers. This is probably all dressing into the, uh, to the, 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 the image they're trying to give of the, these people coming in from other countries will not be a burden on us for housing benefits and other things. But the one more interesting is, uh, is that Yvette Cooper is making an important speech tomorrow and uh, the Daily Mail has, um, has given us a taster of it there. Labour is going to concede that it supports a cap on immigration. Now this is a, a big turnaround for, for Labour which was uh, seen as a very pro-immigration story and gave us the Conservatives some stick when they criticised Labour in power over its immigration policy. So it's a bit of a, um, a bit of a turnaround here. Well, yes, I so think the point is this: the, the focus here, and um, I mean this is also in the wake of the Eastleigh by-election and the very, I mean in a way the unpredictable results there, the, success, the relative success of, of, of UKIP, and all the reports. <coughs> Um, from, you know, I was certainly down there, but, you know, everybody was down there, that immigration was the issue on the doorstep. But, you know, I think it's Eastern European migration. It's uh, the, uh, the, the, the prospect of more migrants coming from Bulgaria and Romania. And, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, Yvette will make a very strong and practical case tomorrow I think we have to handle this very carefully. My constitu in my constituency, 40% of the people I represent are black or not white. They're second, third generation um, British in, in, in many cases. And, you know, I'm increasingly getting um, representations from the people I represent. This makes them feel very uneasy. I was reading a, a, a letter at the weekend from a man who's married to a mixed race wife. She feels that when she's on the bus, that the, uh, the attitude to her is changing. So it has to be handled in a very practical and in a very sensitive way. Uh, and recognize that you know, this change has taken some time uh, to occur. It will take, you know, we have to have a long-term management uh, strategy for this which enables uh, migrants who do come to contribute without feeling stigmatised. Okay, uh, we're going to take a bit of a break. Lots uh, of other stories.